Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In just a minute, I will show you how to install NA10 using Docker Desktop. Completely free, then we'll take it a notch up by supercharging your AI agent with MCP. No coding required, just powerful automation made simple. If you're new to this channel, I'm Aftab, an automation business partner specializing in helping small businesses to automate and scale using AI and no code tool. In this video, I'll show you how to install NA10 using Docker Desktop, completely free, then adding MCP on top of that to supercharge your AI agent. We will complete the overall process in three steps. Step number one, install NA10 for free using Docker. We will start by installing NA10 locally using Docker Desktop. In fact, it's very clean and avoid any messy installation process. You'll be able to run your own automation workflow on your machine and no cloud needed. Now head over to the docker.com. Once you're here, you need to download the Docker Desktop for your operating system. So I'll be downloading the Windows. It'll take a few minutes to download the Docker Desktop. Once you download the Docker Desktop and open the Docker Desktop, that's what you will be able to see. And you need to go to search, type NA10IO. This is the image we need to pull. As you can see, there's 100 million download for this Docker image. So we just simply pull. Now again, it's pulling the image. Depends on the size of the image, it might take a minute or two. Then head over to the image section. And as you can see, it's it's pulling that latest NA10 Docker image. So it will take a few minutes. This completed, just click come here and press run. You need to give a name to your container. Or we name it NA10 MCP. Host port, we leave it 5678. The volume is where you want to save all the data on your computer. So for us, we do here, and I turn MCP, and then container path, we just simply type one, two, three. So for container path, we simply type forward slash home, forward slash node, slash dot, and eight N. And this is the most important part to be able to use MCP as one of the tool. We need to add an environment variable. What we need to do is we copy this from here, go back to the environment variables and simply type here true. Then run. So now it's configuring the, your local NA10 on your computer. Gives it a few seconds, it'll be ready. Looks like it's ready. So this is the this is the place where I need to click. It's a local host 5678. You have to go to the installation process. If you already have an NA10 cloud account, this got nothing to do with it. You still need to do it again. Once you go through the NA10 onboarding process, that's where that's what you'll be able to see. There we go. Now you have your free NA10 install on your computer. Next, we'll connect NA10 to MCP or Model Contracts Protocol. This will give you AI agent the ability to the superpower to interact with tools and various API without writing complex code or reading complex API documentation. To install MCP, we need to go to the bottom left-hand corner. Don't click the three dot, go to the settings, community node. And we need to install community node. The community node is developed by the NA10 community, which hasn't been verified by NA10 itself. So be careful what you install. I will give you some tips around how to spot the right community node or what are some things you should be looking out for when you're downloading a community node to your computer. Because remember, this code is not verified by NA10. Go to the browse, just type MCP. Search. So this is the one we're looking for. As you can see, there's 19,000 download for this MCP. So what you do is simply just copy this note. Before you copy, click here and read through the information about the MCP. It talks about how do you how do you can then set up those MCP servers on your computer. And the guides are really good. That's what I'm using to install MCP on NA10. Go back to the search result, copy this. Go back to your community note module. Click here, I understand, installed. It'll take a few seconds to download and install MCP on your local machine. Here you go, now the MCP has been installed. Let's go back to our canvas. Finally, I will walk you to building a superpower AI agent that can take user, use the input to understand what tool is required and then execute that tool to respond to user query. Today we'll be using Brave Search powered by MCP. To build a smart AI agent, what to do at this first step, put a chat trigger, then Find AI agent. To build an AI agent, you need three basic things. First thing is the chat model, which is kind of the work as a 
brain of that AI agent, then you need memory and the tool to execute things you want that AI agent to do. We will be using OpenAI chat model. We haven't set up a credential yet, but let's create new credential. Open the docs. Once you log into the OpenAI platform, then head down to this settings, API keys, create a new API key, just name it 18 MCP demo, select any project, create. Come back to NA10, paste a key, save. We will use a GPT-4 mini, but you can select any model you want to use. Then for the memory, you use window simple memory, which is a window buffer memory. Basically, it saves the last five chats you have with the AI agent. And then we need to use, this is where we will be using MCP. MCP. There you go. We need to create a credential. So to create a credential, we'll be using the Brave Search. We need to create a credential for just for Brave Search. To do that, we need to go back to the GitHub page for MCP. We need to come back to this GitHub page where you have all the information relates to how to add different MCP server to your NA10 workflow. I will add the link to the description for this GitHub page. This is one of the, this is the official MCP protocol GitHub page where you have information about all the MCP servers and how to install those on your server. So for our cases, we'll be using the Brave Search. There's some good information here and it talks about within the Brave MCP server, what are some of the tools available? We can read through that. But for us, what we need to do is we need to use this information. Let's go back to NA10, click MCP. We need to create a new credential. So to create a credential, we need three things. We need command, we need argument, we need environment. For command, we can get it from here, which is NPX. Argument is this. We need to make sure that we don't include any double code, any additional space, just one space and a comma. And then we need Brave Search API key. So we're gonna take that expression. Copy, save. Once we connected with the MCP server for Brave Search, let's rename this. These tools. In here, there's various different operation you can choose. For us, we first will choose list of tools. So let's try this. I order the list of tools you currently have access to. Yeah, agent is working. So. Chat model, let's figure out that it needs to go to the MCP to get the list of tools. That's what it's doing now. So it's got the list of tools. Now the model is preparing the response. As you can see, let me make it bigger. As you can see, with the Brave Search, it's got two different tools, Brave Wave Search and Brave Local Search. And it's got some description and parameter. We don't have to worry about that because we're using MCP server. If you are using HTTP or API, then we have to worry about this parameter. Then we add one more tool, MCP. So instead of list tool, now we do execute tool. So the tool name, what do we do? Go an expression, use this formula. It's, it's called from AI tool name. And then for tool parameter, you can manually import it, but I always let the model define. Let's 
go back so what you can search something and what are the latest yeah, news Looked like initially it didn't work. I did return a, an error, but what it did do that it went back, get the list of tools again, then again try with with the MCP client, the, which is this, and then it got the actual result, and the result went back to the model, and model has summarized the uh, latest AI news for us. So there we have it. What you can do is go back to that GitHub page, and you can see there are so many MCP server currently available for you to try. There's quite a few of them, so start playing with this and you see how you can supercharge your AI agent. If you found this useful, check my next video where I show you how to build a second brain using NA10 and AI agent that can remember everything. And please give it a like and subscribe.